We're going to make some spaghetti squash today with a uh, new recipe. Uh, first time I washed this, the squash real good. I'm going to cut it in half, scoop out the seeds, and I'm going to stuff it with some really good ingredients. Cut the ends off so that it has a stable place to, to uh, do the long slice on the side. So when you turn it upside down like this, you, it won't rock around. People are often afraid to cut these on their own, but it's not that hard. Just get a, a spot where it'll sit flat. And all you have to do is scoop out enough, um, cut it in half enough to scoop out the seeds. And see how quickly it can be done. And then we're going to stuff it and bake it. Okay, now that they're scooped out, um, before I fill them, I'm going to pre-cook them in the microwave a little bit just to soften them because this is a very lengthy cooking uh, vegetable. It's very hard. So I'm going to put them in the microwave for about 10 minutes while I'm preheating the oven. And in the meantime, I'll get my stuffing ready and um, then we'll pull them out of the microwave and stuff them and bake them. Okay, one of the ingredients is a uh, sweet onion. So I just want to chop this up a little bit. I'm going to show you what I'm going to stuff these uh, spaghetti squashes with. I'm going to use some garbanzo beans, some chopped onion, some uh, grape tomatoes. I'm using organic uh, matchstick carrots and some orange yummy uh, mini sweet peppers. These are organic also and they're really delicious. I'm just going to slice them up a little bit. Um, the squashes are just about ready to come out of the microwave and we're going to fill them with these ingredients and plus a little olive oil. And you'll find that it's a great vegetarian meal. Even uh, non-vegetarians will like this one. I just took these out of the microwave now. They're pretty hot. You can see they're starting to get a little flexible and crack a little bit. That's just where you want them to start. Um, start the cooking process so it doesn't take so long in the oven. Now we'll take a little of each of these ingredients, put them in each one. The idea with this is that the flavors will cook right down into the spaghetti um, fibers of the squash and it'll be much more tasty than if you just add, add the ingredients to the squash that's already cooked. And then these are all nutritious pieces that we're adding so it's a really healthy meal. So we got the, the onions and the sweet yummy peppers, some garbanzo beans here for some extra protein. And then I usually when I'm entertaining with vegetarians I let them decide whether they're going to add cheese as a last step because some people don't like that but, or they don't eat it in their diet. These are crunchy um, matchstick carrots and then we have a couple cherry tomatoes awesome colors and vitamins minerals okay this is going to go in the oven now with a little olive oil drizzled on and we'll see I'm going to add a sprinkling of basil And the oven is preheated to 400 degrees. It should take about a half hour to 45 minutes. And we'll know it's done when you can stab a fork into the side of the spaghetti squash um, because you're actually going to want to flake all of the squash into a mixture 
of one big plate. All right, stick it in the oven. The oven's already hot, so it should start cooking right away. Okay, this just came out of the oven, and you can see what I was talking about. You fluff out the sides of the squash. That's how you know when it's done, that you actually don't eat the skin, but if you fluff out the squash fibers, it looks like spaghetti, and that's why they call it spaghetti squash. And all the vegetables now are cooked, and there's a little olive oil and seasoning in there, all ready to eat. Nice dish. Is that it?